it's Sunday morning and the lighting is just beautiful today. So rather than sending a gajillion photographs and captions, I'm doing a small video and submitting it to help explain some of the details that could be of interest for the Indianapolis Monthly Submission. There's a blanket on the chair. It suggests my European background. I keep the house colder in the winter and my husband calls me Nanook of the North, which is what Garrison Keeler calls his wife, because in the winter we do in fact bundle up. Vintage table was a rescue find from a used furniture store. Note, it was not an antique store, but a used furniture store. They jokingly told us that this table had been used in some kind of a Goodwill local ad because to others it appeared really ugly, while to us it's just a treasure. Little atomic design, retro lamp, assortment of magazines, a genuine pelt I got from Europe where that market is very, very controlled. I've had to pay a lot of taxes on it. I always want to be fair and efficient. Coming up closer to this, we've got two miniatures by Naoto Hattori, who lives and works out of Japan. Um, awesome pop surrealist artist. The Snowscape is an older Steve Gerhardt's painting. He's a younger gentleman who lives and works up north, and these are from Wisconsin, and I think also he does Minnesota. He's what's called a plein air painter. He really goes outside, and he truly captures the moment. We think his work is magical. Our bookshelf is a genuine collection of books that we have collected. There are things from my childhood as well. And want to point out another Naoto Hattori. There's an art encyclopedia collection that my grandfather in Usingen, which is near Frankfurt, ordered for me through a catalog. He was fascinated with catalog shopping. To him, it was very modern. I have vintage children's books that I have bought as an adult and also that I have saved. We have very early copies of Charlotte's Web, as you can see. The colorful set to the left is from my childhood. I read those books constantly. The wood carvings, my father did. There's a mermaid. There's a St. Nicholas, a German kind. He's angry and he's also a disciplinarian. And then this is from pieces and bits that he collected on a trip to the West. South Dakota is represented. Turns out my husband is from South Dakota. Our daughter's first day at school, antique tea caddy, art books, children's books. I have a miniature, beautiful room painting that I found on eBay. Tasha Tudor there in the center, one of my favorite childhood writers and illustrators. The picture on the right is an old photograph of my parents, or rather my grandparents in Germany, a wedding photograph. My old Disney collection, it is so dog-eared. I looked at read those books and read them forever. My two sons as children, beautiful piece of coral, an abalone shell from my husband's parents' home in South Dakota, our little girl Hannah, more art books, this is the buck who hangs out in our backyard. We feel so blessed that he likes to visit us from time to time. We're campers, that's me and Hannah, on a recent camping trip. More art books. Another one of the eBay purchases, miniature. Antique books that my godmother gave me when I was a very young girl. Here we are at the art museum contemplating a painting This we bought last summer. It's a natural stone. They're found in dry creek beds. Also a bison. I'm a fan of Vonnegut and serve on the board at the Vonnegut Library. So he gets top placement. I was published in this, I believe, on motherhood. I did an essay on my son who served as a Marine. My daughter was one of those fairy princesses, always wearing interesting costumes. I did a piece on her, called her a little self-dresser. 
that had some good legs and a an abbreviated version of that was in Indianapolis Woman some years ago. I love the creativity and the freedom that that represents. My husband and I are both fans of the sociologist Paul Fussell. I love the wit. I love the insight. Another German art illustrated encyclopedia set that my grandfather got for me. Travel books. I have 10 years background in jewelry, antique and estate jewelry as well. Here's my oldest son just before a deployment and our little girl Hannah was with them. The guys joked that they would take her along as the mascot. It was so sweet. He's back home and safe, working, getting his life going as an adult. More art books. And then when you travel up, we have miniatures by Mab Graves. I got these back when it was merely difficult to get her work. Now, of course, she's so big, it's quite impossible. So there's a little slice of a collection, lots more in the living room. Hope we get a chance to delve into this further. Thanks for your time, everybody.